What's up boys and girls and welcome back to Dark Souls, this is Alphabite like always, and in the last episode we got our butt kicked by Artorias. Um, yeah, but, you know, um, it was, it, it was complicated, it was really hard to commentate and fight him as, uh, you know, as I noticed, um, usually I'm able to only use like one, maybe two SS's and beat him, but god damn, he just rocked me, especially with that last attack. Did you like, he like took half my HP with that last attack, which was ridiculous. Anyways, we're gonna poke this guy in the butt and we'll move on. Now, my strategy for beating Artorius is basically gonna be. Mm, not getting hit. That's that's a good that's a good place to start. So um, I'm gonna try dodging a lot more uh, effectively, not taking uh, damage early on, and uh, with that, I should be able to pull through this pretty easily. Now you see how uh, I'm pressing the stone to get the la to get the elevator to come up. Uh, unless you come from the bottom up, this elevator will not respond to that button. So that's why I was trying to uh, tell you guys last time. Um, and uh, we're just gonna make our way to Artorius at this point. Um, we have a blood stain that we could pick up. I think it has like around like 30 to 40k on it. So it's definitely worth picking up. Anyways, uh, we got thrown right into the battle. Uh, try. Uh, this is probably gonna be a long battle also. Because of the fact that he's so. Uh, I. Like I said, I don't want to take any dumb damage. I like that. Like, I sh really should be dodging that and the other one. God damn you with your ferocious roar. Got you. Nope. Don't try that shit on me. Don't try that shit on me. Don't try that shit on me. God, he's being really aggressive. Um... Wait, how'd that hit me? Like, it took like only a sliver of health left, but it still hit me. Which I'm not happy about. I'm, I'm gonna talk to my, my manager about that. Anyways, um... God damn, I'm dodging way too early and I'm taking a lot of stupid damage, as I would call it. Um, you know, at this point, I'm just gonna use a, a, a humanity to heal. That's fine. I don't mind using one humanity to heal. Um, hopefully I won't need any more. Because seriously, I haven't done shit to him. And that has me a little bit uh, worried. Okay, that was a good dodge. You saw how I just dodged through that whole, like, two, um, like, the spinny spinning attack. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Um... Yeah, you really need to use your invincibility frames for this fight because they'll save you so much trouble. Um, Alright, I think... Um, couldn't get him. God damn, his sword has such a long reach. Um, and my sword does not, which is definitely a problem. Um, nope, nope. 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 Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Well, um... <laughs> God damn. Uh, I really didn't want that to happen. Um, uh, but so be it. It happened. And we got murdered. Whew! Alright. I just gotta, uh, relax. Because, um... Basically, I just need to relax. Uh, it's bad play on my part. It's bad play. I can't. I can't. Uh, you know, put. I can't. Wait. What am I trying to say? I can't really blame it on anything else other than my own bad play because it really is just my horrible playing that uh, is getting me killed over and over. Uh, I think I could put the Havel's ring. Do I roll any faster? I'm not even sure. I, I don't think I was having problems rolling. 
and I get hit, and I push those guys off the edge like a pro. Um, but yeah, hmm, I'm not sure. Does does it really help at all? No, I'm still rolling the same exact way. Um, so Havel's ring is not the answer to our dilemma here. Uh, what do I want to do? Um, maybe a boost in defense? I don't know. I don't really have any other ring to really uh, help me much at all. So uh, hopefully that'll provide us a little bit more defense. And... Uh, and I really want to be Artorius on this next fight because I feel kind of embarrassed for not beating him already. Because honestly, he's not that hard. He really isn't. Um, it's just, like I keep saying, me playing really bad. Um, later. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, hmm. My commentary is turned to like mush because I don't know what to say because I'm not progressing. I'm just doing the same thing over and over. But I have beat him with my level 4 character, so if I could do it at level 4, I should be able to do it like at 55. Uh, definitely. Of course, the problem is just me not taking damage. Like, that's all I need to do. Just stop getting hit and make sure he doesn't power up because you can see how significant uh, that is. All right, that was a good dodge. Uh, he backed off, so I was worried that he might have uh, he might try to um, power up, turn Super Saiyan, if you know what I mean. That's nice. That's a nice little trick, Artorius. Yeah, you can keep doing that. I mean, it's not gonna hit. And then my my weapon isn't fast enough to attack either, like to uh, break to stagger him. Um, if I had a, a ring that could, like, increase my staggering potential, that'd be really great, but I don't, so, uh, you know, I just have to deal with it, basically. But I am doing really well until I said I was doing really well and got hit by that really bad attack. Um, but I'm doing damage, I'm doing damage, I feel comfortable, I feel confident, uh, most of all. And I have only gotten hit once, which is definitely a good sign. No, that was too early. God. The timing on that is just really... I'm having a really bad time uh, timing that. Yeah, I think I need to be a little bit more aggressive. No, 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 no. Bad Artorius. Go to your corner. Go to your corner. Do it now. Um, I should probably, I should have probably hit him right there, but I was kind of waiting for that third uh, attack. And we have him down to maybe 70, 75, 75. No, we probably have him down to like 70 or 65, I mean, of its health. Uh... So, uh, we're doing good, we're doing good. I have no complaints, really, except that I just got hit right there. But, I mean, I'm not gonna go through this fight flawlessly, because I'm not that good anymore at this game. Or maybe I never- no, I definitely was better at this game when I was playing it more often, but, uh, you know. You have to get patterns memorized, and your reflexes have to be there, because... As much as, uh, you know, it is about being patient and skilled, your reflexes do come to play when you want to, you know, uh, use invisibility frames to dodge and not get hit. So, uh, I'm just looking for a good place to basically heal like that. Um, stab him in the butt. What? How did that not touch you? That totally touched him, right? Like, it's not just me who thinks I hit him. Anyways, uh... This battle's going pretty swell. Um, I'm gonna use some of my pyromancy to maybe damage him a bit. 
hopefully it'll work and he doesn't just like stab me in the face while I'm trying to use it because it has that like load up time. Um, I'm not even sure if this is probably the right thing to do. I could probably use it right here. Yeah, look at that damage. I actually did quite a bit. God damn, he hit me with that second attack. Alright, heal. There you go. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're staying pretty in the city. Uh, the good thing is that he hasn't charged up yet, so... He's gonna charge up. One, two, get the third one in! Yes, staggered! Okay, cool. Alright, this is going so much better and I still can't dodge that, like, delayed charging attack. But, that's fine. Uh, as you see right there, I just got hit by it again, right after getting hit by it. Um, maybe I should just try blocking that attack rather than dodging. I mean, it would probably do me better. How do you dodge so fast? I... Uh, okay, he's turning the tides on me. He is. Uh, taking some silly damage. Whoa, okay, just let my stamina regen a bit. Um, how did I not hit you there? Another weird thing is that he, he's not using his, like, left arm at all. He's, it's kind of, like, just, like, dangling. So I'm, I wonder if it's, like, hurt or, like, broken or something. Probably. No. 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 Good, good, good Artorius. No power up for you. Um, but yeah, we he's almost done. Um, gotta keep putting on the pain. And you can see how uh, having my type of weapon is actually bad for this battle. I'm not doing as much damage as I probably should. Should 88 is like garbage damage, basically. Uh, even my level 4 was doing more damage than this, but I was using the Chaos Fury sword uh, for my level 4 with like 10 humanity, which boosted the attack, but... No, no, no! Okay, good. Now, if he hit me with the aura, I might have been dead, so it was kind of risky to just run in there. And I'm going to use this time to heal, finally. Alright, we're, we're doing decent. We're doing decent. We're not doing as good as I probably should be doing, but we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Alright, I'm gonna let my stamina heal for a bit, or regen for a bit, so uh, I don't get blown back by his attacks when I do block against them or try dodging them. I still can't dodge that delayed one. I, I, need just, I just need to stop trying and like just take it on the shield. Okay. Alright. Alright. One more? No. Alright. Whatever. Heal up. Um, okay. We're down to two essences. He's down to like maybe like five, ten percent. Uh, don't get too rash me. Okay. I'm getting a little bit too rash. I'm waiting for a perfect opportunity to heal, but right there. I can't see him though. I can't see him. Whoa. Stab him in the butt. Dodge. Okay, next hit will be your last. Bam! And Knight Arcturus is down, and it only took me 14 minutes. And by only, I mean I did it really, really slow. And I'm kind of sad because that means we won't be progressing too much into this. Uh, we won't be progressing a lot in this episode. Which has me kind of sad, but, um, you know, it happens. Uh, and here we have our bonfire. Alright, now with this bonfire lit, uh, I'm going to turn human. I'm going to use a humanity to... Uh, so I could kindle this bonfire. Alrighty. There you go. And we will... No, I'm I'm already not hollowed. Alright, so we kindle the bonfire. That will bring us up to 10 Estus uses. 
Now, uh, the interesting thing is that if you go back to Artorius's grave, uh, I think she'll be there, maybe. Or maybe not yet. Guess not yet. Okay, so we'll just progress through. Um, maybe like another 10 minutes or so. We'll see how far we can get. We should be able to get decently far. Um, now, I do want to level up. Um, like that, I guess. We're all the way up to 60. Um, Alright, so this is Ulusil Township. Uh, we're basically going to be fighting these uh, monsters, if you want to call them that. Uh, the lore behind them is that they used to be town people, and uh, the the abyss basically made them uh, transform into these hideous beasts, basically. Um, and uh, yeah, the I think like the abyss. Uh, made their like humanity go wild and created them their like these monsters. Anyways, we'll get we'll get more into that once the time comes. So uh, don't worry too much about it. So uh, note that these guys do do a significant amount of damage. Not too bad, especially on my uh, on my screen because I have a lot of HP. But um, you want to be careful for this guy. Now this guy is bas basically a sorcerer. Uh, he shoots uh, black magic and uh, or they're kind of like the equivalent of hexes in Dark Souls 2 basically. It's like magic but it's like supposed to be dark. Um, yeah. So we have a brave soul warrior or a brave soul of a warrior and you have this uh, enemy behind this corner so make sure uh, to take him out so he doesn't sneak up behind you. Now, um, what I'm going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to trigger this encounter. And this is Marvelous Chester, the guy that we talked to who got pulled into the same dimension as uh, us, basically. And we're going to take him on. We're going to kill him because apparently he's a Dark Riff, as you can see. Uh, be careful, he has a swooping attack. He has, uh, he has his crossbow and he's throws out like three poison darts so uh you know that could be kind of dangerous i like how he has like a scope on his crossbow i also like how he has that like leg sweep he, he reminds me like of a ninja anyways uh he should be done pretty soon backstab and i think that's game marvelous chester and he'll drop some uh, yummy souls and uh, no, no, no yummy souls. Okay, never mind. He won't drop yummy souls. Uh, now there is like this whole area on this side. However, I think to progress through that side, you need like the sunlight maggot or uh, you need the sunlight maggot and or uh, what is it? It's um the cast light spell to access like this like very special like item that will help uh, make the the last boss in this area um, easier. Now we have the very good carving. Uh, the very good carving is um, it's an item that you throw on the floor and when it hits the floor it basically talks so uh, the one I just got is the very good carving so every time I throw it it'll say very good and it's kind of funny and it's kind of uh, ridiculous in the same uh, way that is funny. Anyways, uh, we'll take care of this guy and right here we have a sorcerer who will shoot magic at us. Time your dodges appropriately or you could just uh, shield them and take them on there. Note that it will bleed through your shield because it is magic and as far as I know and as far as I remember there is no 100% block shield in the game so um, you know just so you know um, took care of that guy. Now there should be one more guy here in the corner took care of him alright we're making good progress we're making good progress now there's a guy up here you can see him uh, he'll jump down and try to surprise you however 
Uh, you can't surprise this guy because I've gone through this part a bunch of times. There you have rubbish. Uh, I think you could trade it with the crow back in, uh, what's that place called? The, the Undead Asylum. And, uh, I forget what you get for it, but I know it's, like, actually pretty good. It's better than rubbish, of course. Um, and, yeah. I think it might be Tainite Chunks, so if you're low on Tainite Chunks, uh, you might want to try that. I'm not sure if it's Tainite Chunks, but... It's worth a try. Uh, right here we have a, basically a gauntlet room, a bunch of enemies, um, and right here you have a soul of a hero who died on these stairs. Um, and you can see there's a mage. The mage is going to be the most annoying part. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up these stairs because we're going to have to come up here anyways. Um, and just make your way up. I'm looking for a specific area, uh, hello, kill this guy, pretty easy, two shots, two shotting them, okay, now we want to, you basically just want to roll through here, and, uh, there's going to be this dancing guy, whatever, just uh, stab him, and right here, this is a mimic, so, uh, don't try to open this chest, And this mimic drops a very important item, which is like a crest or something. Crest key. Okay, well, I was close. <laughs> um, there's another guy behind the wall. Yeah, rave. Totally. Anyways, uh, kill him because he's basically a piece of garbage. Um, and now that we got that, you want to fall down. We're going to go back up these stairs. Uh... And instead of falling or rolling to that like kind of secret area, we're gonna keep going across, and this will let us basically get into the top platform where that uh, witch was, and we'll be able to take care of him, so he won't try or he won't be sniping us. Now I think there's an illusionary wall here, uh, but you need like cast light or you need um, the sunlight maggot to open it or like to trigger it. It's like. It's triggered based on, uh, it's triggered based on, like, light, so, like, it won't open unless light hits it, I believe. Or it might be this room where uh, it is, I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, anyways, uh, you want to come down this ladder. And coming down this ladder will take you to this guy, who's, for whatever reason, not active. You could cut down the rope to get whatever, uh, to get whatever item that is. I think it's like a spell or something, um, not sure. Yeah, dark fog, uh, that's, a uh, yeah, that's a spell. Uh, and we're just gonna make our way through. Now, uh, I made it farther than I thought I was gonna, so that's a good thing. Uh, if I beat, a, if I would've beat Artorias on the first try, we would've got way farther, but, eh, big respect, can't be choosers. Uh, you want to activate this uh, elevator. This will act, or this will uh, open up a shortcut, and we're right back to like basically the beginning. And we're gonna make our way to the bonfire, and we'll call it an episode. So make sure to leave a like and or favorite the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know you want to see more of this. Uh, comment down below and uh, tell me what you thought of Artorius and uh, uh, if he's probably. For me, he's probably the coolest boss we've fought so far. Maybe tied with the Manicore or the Guardian, the Sanctuary Guardian. But let me know who's your favorite boss that we fought so far. And um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my Dark Souls playthrough. So, till next time, boys and girls, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Johnny!